Welcome to Greenlands, everybody. Driver 53 here with another console map tour today. And this is a really, really awesome map. Not so much that it's like, you know, overly detailed or anything like that. I mean, there's awesome detail in this map. But y'all, you get to start out with quite a bit of stuff. And let me go ahead and get into the details as we make our way over here. So this map is by Peter716. You guys remember that. He's done another awesome map. And the uh, the date today is February 17th, 2021. This is version 1.0.0.0. And it's 130.58 megabytes. It doesn't require any other mods um, to be downloaded at the same time. So let's go ahead and get right into some of the storage options and the equipment. That's what I really like to talk about in my tours so you guys understand what we have to work with. So right off the bat, you're going to see that you got a Massey Ferguson here. Um, it looks like it's a uh, 5610. Yep, it's got a front loader on it with the bale spikes. Already has a tether back here. And you got a baler, round baler. So, New Holland. And they mix up the equipment quite a bit on this map. It's really, really cool. Um, sitting right over here, we have a nice New Holland with a really big windrower. You are going to need that for sure with all the fields that you have here. Um, we also have the, uh, the Bergman. Um, uh, collecting wagon really really nice if we keep making our way around over here you can see that we've got a bucket also got a uh, fertilizer spreader you've got a mower a uh, side rear one and you've got a front one so nice setup there you got the nice um, agro liner trailer really really cool and then sitting around over here a really really nice planter good width on that thing you've got a plow uh, cultivator. You've also got a Fent 720 sitting right here with a front weight on it already. And then tucked away in here, you got a nice John Deere tractor with a normal header sitting on a header trailer. Really, really cool. You do not have a like a, a farm truck like that with this map whenever you get in here. Um, and as you can see, tons of storage opportunities. You've got covered ones, you've got open ones. Um, let's go ahead and take a look right here. You're also going to have some animals. So right here, let me go and throw on the mini map so you can see exactly where we're at. This is going to be pigs. And this area right here is where you're going to be able to uh, buy your pigs at. Really, really awesome. You're going to put your feet in right there. Water is going to go down over here. Right here is going to be slurry. This is going to be your manure pit. And then right here is a bunker silo. Well, you don't need a bunker silo for pigs but you do need them for cows. And we're gonna make our way over there. But next to the pigs, you're gonna have sheep. So this is where you're gonna get them at. You're gonna put your food in here. Wool is gonna be right there. And right here is gonna be your water. Pretty awesome. And we'll go over how much capacity each of those have. Now this is gonna be your cows. Now the cow pasture is really, really unique here on this. This is where you're gonna put in your water at, right next to where they're going to have the um, milking station at. Your milk is all going to be right in here. So it's got a nice big tower for it. And if you come around over here, this is where you're going to be able to get your cows. So anywhere in this area. Uh, it's it's quite large of an area to be able to uh, buy the cows at. And then this is going to be where the food goes in at, obviously. And if we come through, well, you probably want to come through this gate right here, actually. It's going to open up inwards for you, make it a little bit easier to get through. Now, these here stay open all the time. They don't actually do anything, so just that one there. And if you come in here, you can see the other side of the milking station. And then, through here, this is where your manure is going to be at. And then your slurry... Oh, I had it. Where did it go? <laughs> but this is your pasture. Really, really nice pasture. Oh, that's where it is. And slurry is going to be over here on this side of it. So it's going to take some uh, maneuvering around to get to everything. Um, your straw, I'm sure, is going to go in here, in the middle somewhere. But then, come around over here. Well, I say that. It may actually go inside there. So one of those two locations. But it's a really, really nice barn. And then you've got two more bunker silos sitting right here. 
So you have three bunker silos on this farm. And in here, you've got more equipment. you got a leveler already also. forgot to show that a while ago. Um, but tons and tons of storage here on this farm. So you've got one, two, three, four different places to store stuff on this side. And then you've got that one there. So five barns on this one farm alone that you're going to be able to uh, store your equipment in. And you get a pretty decent amount of equipment. Um, now, it's nothing to like write home about. But this might be. Let's take a look at the map. So this right here is the PDA. As you can see, the bottom portion of the map, you're not going to be able to have access to, I don't believe. Um, I believe everything around the top is where we're going to be. And we are right here in the middle. Okay, so your farm is dead middle of the map. And let's take a look and see what all you own. It is a ton, y'all. I've got precision farming turned on here, so we should be able to see how big these fields are. So field 56 and 60 come with the main farm area and if you were to buy this separately it's 637,000 but it's about four and a half hectares of total ground here the soil is pretty good pretty good um, you've got field number 58 here and it's not that great um, be really really good for grass I think um, but it's 1.26 and it'd cost you about 87 86,000 Field 42 up here, really, really good for regular crops, I feel like, with loam. You're going to get a ton of bonus on that one, and it's about 1.1 hectares. Field 43, same thing, really good on the uh, soil composition here, 3.49 hectares, and that's going to be 258,000. Come down here to field 1, it's not that great. Got a lot of loamy sand and sandy loam in it. Um, it's about 1.09 hectares, and it's about 81,000. Field 76 down here. This is by far, I think, the worst one. So I would put grass on all of these ones that don't produce really, really well. Um, and uh, let the cash crops be on the rest of them. But y'all, that is a ton of fields. Seven fields you start with on this map. Absolutely awesome. Oh, and this one's 149,000. Now you also start with the BGA. I did not purchase this. This is starting with the map. But if you wanted to buy it separately, it's about 134,000. So what we're going to do now um, is make our way around. We're going to come down out of the farm, down onto the main road here, and then we're going to take a right and work our way around in a clockwise fashion. So let's um, yeah, let's go grab this guy over here, the New Holland. And we're going to go ahead and make our way around the map. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'll leave the mini-map on so you guys can see back away a little bit so you guys can hear. Like I said, we're just going to make our way around the map and view all the different cell point places. And we're going to look at a different couple different farms too. There's other animals um, pins on here that we can do. There's even a farm on here that doesn't have any animals that we can uh, use. Um, it's got some decent storage in it too and some potential. Some real good potential. So, you're going to see a lot of gates all the way around this map. And on most of the farms, there will be a sign that tells you what they are. So we are on Greenland's farm right now. And just look at that view, everybody. That is a awesome, awesome view. Wow. I love all the hedges. I haven't actually tried to drive through a hedge. Let's try that really quick, if I can run over that too. So it looks like you are going to be able to drive through the hedges with your tractor. I don't know if implements will go through here yet. Uh, we can get the harvester out when we get back and take a look at that. And I'm sorry if the, the screen seems a little bit like it's uh, just suddenly real jerky and moving around. Uh, my controller is acting up again and my other one's dead. So, um, sorry about that in advance. But this is going to be your shop right here. So we're going to go and open it up. It's going to open inward. And if we come over here, you can see that you are going to be able to Work on your equipment over here. If you need money, there you go. Get to your um, catalog. And you can park a couple things in there if you wanted to. So, nice little little shop. So let's get back out here. Quit holding up traffic. And we're going to make our way around to a, uh, a sale point that is going to be for eggs. It's the only spot on the map that you can sell eggs. And it's going to be kind of tricky to get into if you've got big equipment because it's right here. So this rectangle that you see right there next to that green door, 
that's where you're going to be able to sell eggs. And like I said, it's the only place to be able to sell it. And it's labeled as eggs in your menu. So really, really cool. Next, we're going to come around to a gas station. And I believe we actually have fuel on the farm also. Uh, we'll double check that at the end of the video. But this right here is going to be your gas station. Sitting right across from the little playground. Or playground equipment. Now you're going to take a turn right down here. And this is really, really cool. Because you do have another farm right here. With, oops. <laughs> wrong button with some uh, storage potential for sure so I'm gonna wait on it to open it goes in and as you can see a couple covered areas right here really nice looks like some good root crop storage and if we come in right here let's see it is a bunker silo also so perfect so no farmhouse on this but I don't think it would take much to expand this out a little bit um, got a little bit of a walkway here back to your other field so really really cool and we'll get to that sale point over there in a minute but i wanted to show you guys show you guys that also but the main reason we came down this road was to be able to get down here to these sale points back here now i don't think you're going to be able to get some massive equipment down through this i think this is going to be like a medium equipment map but this is greenland's auction center so the first thing you're going to see right here on the right hand side, this is your animal dealer. So right there in the rectangle is where you're going to be able to get all of your uh, animals at if you want to come over here with the trailer and pick them up. Tons of room around here to maneuver. And if you come around this side to the back, this is going to be a water point. It doesn't show it on the map, but it's a water tower. So you're going to be able to get some water there for sure. Now inside this building. And this is going to be tricky, really tricky for, I know me, um, bales are going to go here. Your wool is actually going to go over here on this side. So you got to back it in or swing around and do something ingenuitive there. And the last one that you have here in this area is going to be milk. And milk is going to be right here. So that's the, uh, the three cell points there, your animal dealer and water source really really cool so if we keep coming back up this road we're going to make an immediate left and we're going to go right here to the greenlands grain mill and it's going to be right there on that platform is where you're going to sell your stuff and if we take a look at the, at the menu we can see that greenlands grain mill is going to take all your base game stuff all your normal crops it's not going to take sugar beets or potatoes or anything else. So just your main um, seven crops right there is what this is going to take. So I'm going to come back out. And we're going to keep making our way around. And I really, really like the lighting on this map. It's not overdone. Like the shadows are good, but there's not a lot of trees around the road. So it's going to be easy to be able to see what's going on. And as you can see, gates everywhere hedges between all the fields um i don't know yet if we can uh remove those we are going to try and find out i don't there's been no little note of you know sometimes models are put in there about a secret location or something that you can go to i haven't seen anything like that at all um so let's see is this a little so it's not a little road okay it's just a hedge line so we're going to keep coming, and there's fields on both sides. And as you can see, there is a ton of grass uh, work potential on this field. Absolute ton of grass. Um, and it's it's really nice. I mean, I guess that's why the map is named what it is, right? Um, and look at this view, y'all. You're up here on top of this hill. You can see your main farm right here. Wow, this is really, really cool. I like the haze in the air. You can see all the way over there. Man, that's beautiful absolutely beautiful but we're going to come up right here and this is going to be another farm that you can purchase so this is called roadside farm so if we hop out open up the gate and then we're actually going to pull in here i want to get the car or the tractor out of the way we're going to walk around a bit so the first thing you're going to see is a nice little storage opportunity right here with fuel 
perfect. Inside here, you've got some storage. Root crops or equipment. you got some more storage here. you got a silo that you're going to be able to use right here. It's not a pass-through, so you're going to have to back in. Big barn right there, covered. And this is going to be pigs. So your food is all going to go right along here. Water on this side over here. You got your pasture there. And if we turn this back on, I believe, yeah, it's right here. So this is where you're going to be able to buy them at. This is going to be your slurry point, and this is your manure. And this is it. This is everything. But how much does it cost? So for right here, and we want to buy this. So you're going to get fields 15 and 16, and it's loam, almost 100%. Well, 79% loam, 16 and 3 on the other two. That's pretty good. Um, and it's going to cost you 326000 So not horrible. And if you wanted field four also to go along with it, it's another 144. So pretty, pretty nice. We're going to hop back in here and we're going to go down and check out another farm that is actually a farm um, that doesn't have any animals that you can uh, use to set up base or as a uh, extension of your main farm if you'd like to. Nice little house right there. Little garage. And I'm really liking all the gates that are between all the fields. With so much being grass, it just really makes sense. You can drive, o drive over it and not destroy it. That's cool. And there's just one main loop all the way around this whole map. Um, to even get back to your farm, you still have to go back to the main road and go in the other way. Or be on the main road and go back in the other way. You can't shortcut it from here to there. Um, unless you wanted to go through hedges, of course. But... So you've got another little farm right here on the right that's got a um, a barn you can see right there. You can put a little bit of stuff into, but the main one I was talking about is this one right here. And let's see if I can get around here without the trees. So this is Woodview Farm. And if we come up here, you can see that there's a really, really big barn that you're going to be able to store stuff in, and then a covered barn also. And it leads right up to two really nice fields with crops already in it. Or you just have this open area right here. So let's take a look and see how much this area costs. So we're over here now by field 24. And if we select this, you see that you're going to get fields 24 and 9 for 366000 And it's pretty good on the, the uh, yield potential. It's 61% loam. So... Pretty good if you're using precision farming. Now, if you want to get 25 also, it's 541, and field 10 is 250. And there's two more fields back here also that are 370 and 430, respectively. You get some trees in here also, which is really, really nice. So now we're going to make our way down the map to a couple more spots. Um, there's only two sale points on this map for all your base crops. Right, or for all your normal crop. There's no additional, and I was wrong. There actually is a name on this. This is a Woodview House. Oh, interesting. I guess you could live in that or rent that one out. Either one. I need to get on the proper side of the road here. But I mean, you come down into this wooded area and check out all these trees. How nicely they are lined up. This is really, really cool. Really, really cool. Nice bridge here going over the river. Man, so if you're into forestry, this may be a really, really good opportunity for you. Um, the trees really look like they're all very well placed in here and very orderly, and I need to stay on the road. So if you like that kind of stuff, that's awesome too. And we'll show you the, uh, the sawmill, where it's at. So we're going to come up out of this little gully here, and you're going to see you've got more fields over on the right-hand side. And you are up on... Let me get in here. And you can't see. Oh, man. The trees are in the way. Let me get past these trees just a little bit more, and I'll show you guys the view. So you're really, really up high now. And you can look out on just about everything. Really, really nice. You can see the BGA sitting right over there. So once again, all these fields. So much grass so much but we're going to be coming up on the sawmill 
right here. So if you did want to do some forestry, you're on the right side of the map for it. So right here is going to be the green side sawmill. And your lumber is going to go right here in this rectangle. And then you're going to sell right there at the red station. And your wood chips are going to go there. So really, really nice. We're going to keep coming around. Excuse me. Keep coming around. And you've got another little spot there. No real storage. It looks like it's under construction. If we keep coming around... Your BGA is going to be up here on the right-hand side. Like I said, you already own this and have access to it. So it's really, really awesome that um, Peter did this. Peter716 did this for us. So here we go. Now, this BGA is really unique. I haven't seen this on others. Not only is it a BGA and it's got four bunker silos, but you're going to be able to you know sell your stuff obviously right there but it's also a sale point for regular grains your regular crops so if we come back over to the menu here you can see greenland's bga is going to take all of your normal your seven base crops it's also going to take uh, potatoes and sugar beets if you choose to do that it's also going to take sugar cane now let's go to the biogas plant and go across here what all is it going to take well it's going to take silage it's going to take um grass it's going to take hay but it's not going to take straw it will also take manure and slurry so if you've got those pigs churning out a lot of stuff and the cows churning out a bunch of stuff you're going to be able to sell it over here if you don't want to use it um as fertilizer so that's really really awesome and like i said four really good sized bunker silos over here so you have a ton of options to make silage all around this map we're going to keep going around this way and just show you the rest of the uh, the main road all the way around here. I think we're going to make a little bit of a left up here for one more farm that we have. And this one is it's labeled a little bit differently in the description uh, of what is available here, what the animals are. But this is Greenside Farm. You're going to snake your way up here through this narrow entry past the trees right here let's go ahead and hop out as you can see good storage you're gonna be able to go all the way through this to another area right here oops to another area right here and this is gonna lead you up to there a little bit of a turnaround and you can get by on the side here also you don't have to go through the middle every time and it's also uh, a fuel station I believe Let's check the map again really quickly. Yeah, fuel right there too. So, if we come around over here, we have another bunker silo. Another bunker silo. And then, this is going to be your beef cattle location. Now, if you're using Seasons, this is probably the one you're going to want to use for beef cattle. Uh, you could obviously use both, but this one's set up a little bit more like that would be. So, your uh, food, all going to go through here. This is going to be your um, silage pit right there. Your manure is going to be right there. Really awesome. Now, if we come out here and go around to this side, water right there. So really, really cool. Uh, your straw is more than likely going to go over here on this side. So keep that in mind. Big open pasture, though. And also here we have sheep double fence right there so your sheep are going to be over here oh i forgot to mention where do you buy your animals at so it's going to be right here right here in the middle part now for the sheep you're going to come over here and they're going to be right here your food here water over here now i do not see a spot where the uh, wool is going to spawn at, but I can assume it's going to be like right in here with the same as the other one. So that is this area. And how much does it cost? Wrong button there. So if we want this farm, this one's going to cost you three ninety one, almost three ninety two, but it comes with fields ninety three, ninety four, and ninety five. Now, if you want fields ninety two, also it's seventy, not bad. One hundred fourteen for field ninety one. That's a little pricey. 97 is 109. So, not bad. 
But that is all of the cell points and all of the extra farms all the way around the map. And the really cool thing is that if you wanted to, you could uh, right through here, check that out. You got a road that connects these two farms together. So if you wanted to run them tandemly, there you go. Those are the only two that you're going to be able to get. There's no way to get a direct path from up here down to your main farm. You can see that you do have a bridge right here, and you can get there through a way, <laughs> but no direct path like these two have. So that's really, really cool. Let's um, head back over. We're going to pick up the harvester and see if we can take it through hedges really quickly. All right, so I've got the harvester here, and what should happen is we should be able to just drive through this, and if we're not allowed to, the header will let us know. Ooh, that's awesome. So it looks like the header is gonna go through your hedges. So you're not gonna have a uh, conflict on that. Let's go ahead and unload, and double check it again. Pick it up. Let's actually lower it down and turn it on. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I gotta unfold it, don't I? There we go. So we've got it turned on now. We're lowered down. Let's see if it'll go through this way too. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I guess we own that field. <laughs> yes, we do. All right, so perfect. Um, you guys may be wondering, slot count, right? Let's take a look at it. So if we come into garage, you can see that we're sitting at 606 slots. But, I mean, that's not bad. That still leaves you almost 700 slots to be able to have more equipment or add more uh, buildings or whatever you want to. Um, you know, you get three tractors. You're starting out with a Massey Ferguson 5610, the Fent Vario uh, 720, the New Holland T6 155. You've got the John Deere T560. You've got the header that goes along with that, the Agriliner trailer like we already talked about, plow, cultivator, cedar, the fertilizer um, spreader. You're going to have the mower, two mowers actually. You're going to have the tedder, the wind rower, the collecting wagon. Awesome. You're going to get the baler, and you're going to get the leveler. You're going to get the front loader also with the bucket and the spikes. You have the header trailer and the weight. Now the next things that you see are buildings and stuff like that on the map. So let's take a look at those. Oh, another weight, sorry. So you got the beef cattle. Like I said, this is the last one that we looked at up there on top of the hill. Um, 150,000 if you wanted to sell it. It's only five slots and it holds 200 cows. Pretty good. The next one is the cow husbandry that you see right here on this farm. 150,000 also holds another 200 cows and 12 slots. So you have a pig enclosure, the one that we saw up on the roadside farm, holds 200 pigs, 45,000, eight slots. Another pig enclosure, ooh, actually I may have had that wrong. This one may be the one over there, but it holds 100. So which one is this one? I think this is the one on our farm right now. No, this is the one on the roadside. This is the one on the main farm. Yeah, so this is main farm, this is roadside. No. Hold on. Nope, I got that wrong. The 100 is the one here on this farm. So this farm is 100 pigs. The roadside up there on the hill way up over there is 200 pigs. All right, so we'll keep going across. We have a sheep pasture, another sheep pasture. They're both the same, both gonna hold 80. They're one, it says one slot, but I th think it's because we have two. I wouldn't expect them to be over seven or eight. And then farm storage, they each hold 200,000 liters. Awesome. You got covered silage pits, the doubles. So you're going to have one of those here on the main farm. You're going to have the covered silage pit, three different versions of that that you're going to have access to. You're going to have single bunkers also. So, like I said, there's more around the map, but those are the ones that you currently own. If you sell everything, absolutely everything, you're going to get down to 375 slots. All right, now if you start out as farm manager or start from scratch, you're gonna have all the buildings, access to all of those already, um, but no equipment, and it's gonna be 427 slots. So, pretty nice. 
I really, really like this. If you're really wanting to do a European style um, and you're not looking for something that has a ton of uh, realistic elements into it, if I want to say, and I don't mean it, uh, you know, in any bad way, it's I know some players like the really realistic maps and then other players like the style map where everything's a little bit more friendly, it seems like. I'm not saying this is going to be super farm uh, worker friendly, but since you're not going to have conflicts on the hedges, it shouldn't be a huge issue. Um, a lot of the fields look like they're set up that you could go, you know, a normal direction with a worker. Um, do a little bit of a headland and let them go on the inside. It shouldn't be too bad. Now, what we have is also 100 fields or meadows on this map. Really, really awesome that he put. A large number in here for us um, let's see what else has he said in here it is precision ready and precision farming seasons ready and precision farming ready so that's why I wanted to show everything um, if we wanted to select what the biggest most expensive field it's probably gonna be 25 over here at 541 44 is 342 so you're not gonna have anything in the millions um, pretty affordable field 88 is 398 so not bad at all. It looks like probably the least expensive one is going to be somewhere over here, like number 22 at 75, or 23 at 56, 48 maybe at 49, 93 is part of all that. So yeah, I mean, pretty nice. 72 is going to be 43,000. 70 you can get for 20. Wow, 52 is 34. And then 69 here is 57. So you can start out a little thing going on over there. That wouldn't be too bad. But that's going to be it. Oh, oh, one more thing, actually. So if you did end up selling and you wanted to bring those back in or you wanted to add more, on the animal pins, they are all loaded in here as mods. So you're going to be able to see each and every one of them. Um, you also have the silos available to you. You have the three different versions of the silage um, pits or the regular farm silo. Um, there's no additional decorations. But on sheds, well, sheds you don't have anything easier either. There's no farmhouse extra and there's no miscellaneous. So these are all precision farming stuff and other things that I brought in. So just your animal pins and your silo are the two that you have. So no additional mods anywhere else that I've been able to find. Um... Yeah, that's going to be it, everybody. So I definitely give this a, a shot. Um, I haven't seen anything on here that makes me think that there's going to be any issues. Yeah, we could always find things in the forest and things like that for sure. Um, and if you do, just reach out. Be kind about it. Reach out to the modder. Let them know that you found something. Um, that way they can, you know, get it fixed as they can and uh, just help the overall community. So... I want to say thank you very much for stopping in, going on the tour with me. If you enjoyed the video or learned something today, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest console map tours or anything precision farming or any Let's Plays, think about hitting that subscribe button. And while you're over there, go and hit that notification bell too. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.